everyone and welcome to this video. So we're going to do a full 2023 sellerboard tutorial. This is a profit analysis software tracking all your profits, the Amazon fees, refunds, owed reimbursements and how you can get back the reimbursements with this tool as well as tracking your profits and a lot more cool stuff. So let's dive into this and if you do want to try this out there's a two month free trial below for sellable with no credit card required um, and let's dive into it so the first thing you'll notice here is on the left here we've got this really cool profit drop down list here and then you'll notice the inventory drop down here the auto responder money back section here and then all these things like alerts etc which you can set up we're going to focus on the dashboard for now so what you'll first notice is the tiles on the above here so we've got these today yesterday month to date this month forecast and then last month okay so we've got these four tiles at the top here five tiles sorry what you can also do is not only just get a snapshot here of the total sales the refunds the advertising costs which will automatically be deducted from your seller central once you connect it but it'll also give you your gross profit here estimated payout that's from amazon and then your net profit when you click on to the more section of either today, yesterday or all the tabs here, it will also give you a further breakdown. So it's going to give you a breakdown of the total, the units, promotional cost, advertising cost, shipping costs, which you can also further go into detail here by clicking every single tab. So not only can we click the more to open up all the different shipment, all the different details here, we can also click further into every single drop down to see exactly what's costing us money. So so let's say we open this up and we have a day that's obviously net profit minus 130 38 I wouldn't be too happy with that I want to do some further investigation so I can click more there check the Amazon fees and it looks like inbound transportation cost us 36 pound 151 there the subscription fee was 59 we had 1550 in refunds shipping cost was 6650 and the advertising was 3425 so that's just taken away all of our profit that's why it's important to have a dashboard like this from sellerboard so that you can accurately track this there's a lot of sellers that don't have something like this and they're just tracking this on spreadsheets what they're not always taking into account is things like the shipping fees the Amazon fees the refund costs so they just think they're making a lot more money than they were and I was I was I was um, definitely guilty of this when I started out and it was a massive realization when I realized that I was actually uh, not making as much as I thought but it was a it was a tough lesson that I needed so there we go so you can do this on yesterday as well and even the forecast and then the last month you can click the more so you have a real good view on your debt this is the demo account here which you can also access with the link below just above the free trial there guys it also gives you a breakdown of the entire month so we can look at the shipping cost there and see exactly how much on a, on a monthly basis, weekly basis and daily basis that we're spending on our costs here. You can also scroll down to the actual product section here and you can see the exact product, the SKU which we can copy, we can see the refunds in total and you can click that to see the worst selling products to the best selling products. So you can as a snapshot here see which your best selling products are see how many refunds you're getting see how many sales you're getting see the net profit which will deduct the refunds by the way so some people will sell 100 items and then want to restock it but if they've had 50 refunds of that item it's not going to be profitable in most cases um, so this gives you that snapshot to say is it actually profitable because it also depends what's the refund rate what's the refunds rate of this product and to have 16 refunds from 1069 I mean that looks pretty good it's about a 1.6% uh, return rate which is pretty normal so I'll be happy with that if that was 60 refunds there's probably something wrong with the product okay and they're still doing a good margin ROI there and then it also gives you the BSR on the right here what you can also do is click more on every single product and see the total sales the units the advertising cost etc and break them down so if this if you think this product should be making more let's example see Amazon fees there we can see a we can see all our FBA fulfillment fees referral fees storage fees etc if we think that we're paying too much in a referral fee for this or a fulfillment fee sorry maybe we need to send a message 
uh, to Amazon themselves and say that, you know, we think you've measured this wrong or the weight is wrong. You can check the weight and measurements and ask them to change it so that you're paying less in fees. And I've done this a lot. And then Amazon will refund you the difference if they've incorrectly measured it. So it gives you a really good snapshot and, an, and a vitally important snapshot of whether or not Amazon is correctly measuring your things and charging the, you the correct stuff because this data is pulled from Amazon itself. We're not going to go to PPC today because that's just connected to the PPC. It's not really what we do on here a lot. The product section is really important. But guys, have a look at the demo yourself if you want to look at the PPC section. What we're going to look at next is the product section, which is really important. I haven't got time to go over every single thing on Sellerboard. But I'm going to show you exactly what you can do with this next step here, um, which is the product section. So this is what we use. So when we're adding products, um, you add them in here. You can put the cost of good in there, the cost of good by period or by batch, which means that you can decide if let's say for example you are buying a product for 75 cents as that is there for a year and then all of a sudden the manufacturer changes it to one one dollar and the price goes up you need to change that by batch you know you don't just want to put a dollar in there because that's going to change your entire history what you need to do is update it by batch which you can do here so that after say first of december moving forward if the price changes you can account for that in this software so that it updates the price accordingly and you could do that for all this stuff so it tells you the cost of good tells you a snapshot of the profit you're making per item there as well guys so it's really cool it's really really cool Let's look at the other stuff. So you can do expenses here. You can add all of your expenses into Sellerboard as well. You can add like your subscriptions, your rent, your tax, your consultant, your warehouse, so that when you look at this snapshot, you're actually looking for last month, the entire breakdown of all of your fees. Okay, all of your fees can actually go in there. As you see, your expenses, your expenses that you add, as you can see, tax consultant, warehouse rent will all come off the expenses tab there. And I wish that I could get a warehouse for $33 um, there. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it, guys? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you wouldn't mind a warehouse for $33 so I know you're watching. We're not going to go into LTV either or cash flow. Once again, look at the demo below, guys, if you want to. You can click on reports here and get all this stuff, not only in the data form, but in the reports. You can download it in a PDF or CSV file if that's what you'll prefer. You can also do the inventory planning, though. So what we can do is check the FBA shipments. This is one of my favorite tabs, which I'm going to show you um, because I have enough time to show you this. If this tells you how received some of your products, some of your units are, um, and then it, and then you can see if there's any issues with your unit. So rather than logging into Seller Central and looking at how confusing it is, you can check how many products are in here, check the receiving status. If it's closed and there's an issue and it's only received 8%, for example, with a warning sign and it's closed, you can see there's a massive issue with that shipment and you need to go ahead and speak to Amazon Seller Central and get your money back for that and figure out what's gone on there or get one of your team members to do that. So that's a really important thing. You can also add all your purchase orders in here just to track any big orders you've got coming from China or big orders you've got coming from a wholesale wholesaler that you use or something like that. Um, and then you can see what's ordered. It will give you the total, whether it's shipped or not. And then you can update this onto your dashboard there. Cool. We can also look at the planner here. The planner is quite good. So what I love about the planner is it gives you the total cost of goods of all of everything that you've got. Okay, so not the Amazon selling potential sales, but the cost of goods, so what you actually paid for it. And then it gives you also the potential sales there. So as you can see, the cost of good is 112,000, where the potential sales is 540,000. The potential profit, 230,000. So this gives you a really good snapshot at all times, which I should definitely look at a bit more, actually. I haven't looked at this for some time. Um, so I should probably do that. Um, and then one of my favorite things, one of my favorite things about Sellerboard is the uh, money back section down here, guys. So this is where Sellerboard really, really does pay for itself. So this seller back section gives you an estimated reimbursement amount. Um, and then what you do is download the reports, contact seller support, get the template there, copy this. Okay, click copy there. And then enter, uh, follow the instructions, submit it to Amazon, and it will re it should refund you that amount. And you can also do that for the return section here. 
and it will give you another estimate. And then the FBA fee changes here. Um, when Amazon changes their fees, you can also submit all of these. So I've got a team member that does this every single week. We get hundreds of pounds or hundreds of dollars, depending if we're on my UK or USA account, every single week just from submitting returns from seller boards. So uh, yeah, guys, look, there's a lot more to it. Check out the demo below, but definitely get the two-month free trial to this with no credit card required because it's an awesome bit of kit, which I've been using for a long time. So I hope that video has helped. Give me a subscribe. Give me a like. Check out the um, demo down below. Sign up to an account for free. Give it a go. I'll see you in the next video. I've been Hayden. Speak to you soon.